Okay, I'm back with you. And as you can see, it cracked beautifully. So we have a lot of those tiny little cracks and we have to fill them in. Uh, what can you use to fill it in? You can use, um, you need some kind of a powder. Um, you can use purpurina, which is like a very delicate powder. This is a metallic copper. You can use powdered mica. You can use some um, antique patinas. Not all of them. Some of them would be too strong. But if you don't have any of that, the simplest thing you can use is the eyeshadow. And I'm sure everyone has them. So I'm going to use the dark brown and just use a <laughs> normal makeup brush. Take a little bit of the eyeshadow and delicately rub in. And you will see in a moment how the cracks begin to fill in. Just maybe I'll show you a little bit more here. No, there you can see already. You can always wipe off the axis of it. You don't really want that too much of it. Just make sure that it really goes into the cracks. So if you need to press it a little bit. Go on. Those birds will look really nice with that crackle effect. It does create that look of a crackled porcelain. And as I said, there are different companies and different types of two component crackles. Some of them will have more like a web cracks, which will be not so condensed. Some will have uh, cracks like this, which are fine line, delicate cracks, as they call them. And as I said, there are different companies. This one is from, the one that I used is from Pentart, but even Pentart makes two or three types of them. Then there is Stamperia, there is Cadence, uh, there is Daily Art, uh, three types of crackle effect I think as well so you just have to um, find out the one that that you would like most okay that should be okay you can just wipe off a little bit and that's our effect of the crackle um, we have we still have to preserve it and the thing is that with the two complement crackle you can't use water-based varnish it's just gonna curdle what you need is alcohol based varnish or solvent based varnish now where is mine okay here so I'm gonna use again it's pentart it's clear varnish gloss and it's alcohol based it has a delicate smell but it's not so invasive really and all you need is just one layer of the varnish and that's all uh, if you have solvent based varnish that's fine as well um, this or if you have varnish which would be called uh, gilding uh, varnish for for gilding effect that's that's perfect as well because it's just alcohol based so we open this. I don't need the makeup anymore. I'll use a bigger brush for this. All right. And as I said, just one layer. Of this. Make sure that it covers the whole. Yes, perfect. Uh, there it goes. Um, just wipe this. 
Okay, um, while we are waiting for this to dry, um, I'll tell you something else about that crackle effect. As you can see, like here, we had um, a light background, so then we used dark uh, powder to rub in the cracks. If it's a different, if it's a, a reverse situation that you have a dark picture with dark background, then naturally you will need a very light, light powder or antique uh, patina to rub in. The best would be like white, uh, pearl, silver or maybe golden color. Then you will really see the, the cracks. Okay, so we just have to wait for it to dry. And then the last thing that we will have to do is to put them together and glue them together and don't forget to paint the base the back of the base just so it looks nice and tidy uh, i will paint the back of it when it's um when it's already glued together and if you want it to hang just add a little bit of a hanger at the back Let's see how this turned out. That's that's perfect as well. I have to wait till it's completely dry. It's still a little bit sticky, but you can already see if we place it in the right spot. There. And just glue it. And that will be our picture for today the crackle effect, the porcelain crackle in a frame with a little bit of aging um, effect and method. So I just have to glue it together, paint the back, attach the hanging and job done. So once again what we used today, what we use, what you need for this project, we used the frame base, I used an MDF frame base. Uh, a few paints, acrylic paints, and naturally you need white for the background. You need a piece of paper with the, your design. We used soft paper today. A uh, little bit of the glue, um, decoupage glue, and again there are different brands. My favorite, personally, is Daily Art, but you know, you, you just find out which one really suits you. And then we need the crackle to component, although I use only second step today. And with that very strong sun and a lot of heat, just second step, as you can see, works absolutely perfect. The proper varnish to finish it off, some powders on eyeshadow to rub in. A uh, little bit of aging paint, if you like that. Uh, Water-based varnish, few brushes, sponges, and then I'm gonna use some wood glue or super glue just to glue the parts together. But just to show you once again, it's perfect. Now, once again, this is our final product. Thank you for watching, and see you again soon.